Shall we pray? Our Father and our God in heaven, we are grateful unto you for another time of prayer. Lord, we thank you because you have so commanded us in your word to pray without ceasing. Jesus, in your teaching, you made us to understand that men ought always to pray and not to faint. We are grateful unto you for this wonderful privilege that we have to wait upon you for these 21 days. You have seen us through the first four days, and this is the fifth day. In your faithfulness, you have made it possible for us to be partakers of this great thing you are doing in our time. We appreciate you. We worship you. We honor you. We adore your holy name. We say, be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Father and our God, we are praying that you will stir us up in the spirit. Amen. We find every spirit of carnality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father God, we suspend every contrary spirit, every foul spirit. Father Lord, we pray that they will have no place in our midst as we call upon your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Ask you, God that you will help our infirmities in prayer this hour. Let flesh have no place in our midst right now. Let the spirit of the Lord take absolute control. In the end, your name alone shall be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brethren, we have come to pray. We know that the Lord has led us to uh, this program to wait upon the Lord for these 21 days that we may cry unto the Lord who hears and answers the cries of his people. Today, as we call upon the name of the Lord, we shall be looking at the um, topic, my reproach must cease. I'd like you to say it to yourself. My reproach must please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Enough is enough. Amen. That people who know you and associate you with God, they mock at you, they laugh at you, because the things that they suppose should be there in your life, it's not yet there and they are laughing at you. You have become a laughing stock. They are, you know, reproaching you because of the fact that something is missing in your life. We know that God is able to turn things around. All power in heaven and on earth belong to him. And we believe that as we pray, you hear us, and the confidence we have, if he hears us, is that the answer has come already. So I believe God, that as we cry unto him, as we call upon the name of the Lord, every reproach in our lives shall cease in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I'd like you to turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 42. Psalm 42. And I'll be reading verses 3, 4, 9, 10. Psalm 42, I read from verse 3. My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? As a reproach. Where is thy God? If you have a living God, as you make us to understand, how come that this problem, that problem is still in your life? Why has your God not taken that problem away? That is the reproach. They are asking you, if you say you have a living God, where is that God? 
show that God to us. And that should make everyone that really has a relationship with God to turn to his father and cry unto him. I believe that the Lord is in heaven and that he will answer us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read on to verse 4. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and praise with a multitude that kept holy day. When you remember these things, as a child of God, it should trouble you. When you remember what the enemy is using men to do to you, to mock you, to reproach you, it should make you to cry unto God. Like David, he poured out his soul unto God. As you are waiting upon the Lord, and you can identify any reproach in your life, that should drive you on your knees to cry unto God, to call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord will hear that cry, and he will not fail to answer you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are we hearing me? I'm not guessing, you know, you know we, are, we are praying. So if, you are, if there is no noise, I'm not just preaching. Praise the Lord. Can hear you, sir. All right. Hallelujah. So I go to verse 9. Verse 9, I read, I will say unto God, I will say unto God, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? The reproach should make you to ask questions. Why? Has thou forgotten me? Is that really the case? Is it that you have forgotten me? Why are these things in my life? Why are these problems still there? Is it because the enemy is afflicting me? Or is it because you have allowed it for something, for a reason? You want to understand that the problem in your life is not because of the power of the enemy. If, it, if that is the case, that is a reproach that must go. But if God has allowed a thing in your life, that's the reason why he has allowed it, that is understood or is understandable. That is why you are asking the question. I will say unto my God, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Why is it that I'm going up and down crying? Is it because of the power of the enemy? Or is it because you have allowed it to be so? You want to understand that you may know what to do as a child of God. In verse 10, as with a sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me. Why they say daily unto me, where is thy God? As long as that problem continues and uh, the people are seeing it, the question will be coming every now and then, where is thy God? What answer are you going to give to them? You can't give them any answer. What you should do is go to God and seek the face of the Lord. And the Lord who hears and answers prayer he will do something about that situation, about that reproach, about that condition in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now yeah. let's go with me to Psalm 34. Psalm 34, I'll be reading three verses, eight, nine, and 10, 8, 9, and 10, Psalm 34. I read from verse 8. Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. 
how do you test to see the goodness of the Lord? It is as you pray and you see the reproach taken away, then you can shout it at the rooftop that God has done it for you. You testify to the people all around you to know that indeed your God has visited you. I believe that we want to shout it, we want to tell it all around that God is good. You may be saying it and they are asking to know what proof there is. They want to see something. That's why our reproach must cease today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In verse 9, Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. There is no want to them that fear him. Uh, fear him. David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, I shall not lack any good thing. The Lord is such a faithful, loving God that will make a way for his children where there seems to be no way. Remember that we are looking at the saints of God in this place. Oh, fear the Lord. He is saints. A saint of God is a born-again child of God. If you are not yet born again, and you look at something in your life that your friends are asking you questions about, is the question about the salvation of your soul. You want to settle that first of all. It is only and only when you can put your finger on something to say, I am indeed born again. That is when you should go to the Lord and ask the question that we're talking about now. Why have you forgotten me? Why is it like this with me? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, sorry, my internet is, uh, I think it's fluctuating. I may have to turn off the video. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is when you have established the fact that you are a saint of God, a child of God, that you can ask such a question. Why have, why have, thou for, why have you forgotten me? Why am I in this situation? You know, is there, is, there, is there not, you know, a release for me? Should I, not, should, should I not come out of this situation, out of this condition? I read verse 9 of uh, Psalm 34 again. Oh, fear the Lord, he sends, for there is no one to them that fear him. In verse 10, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. God has not called us to seek him in vain. They that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Are you seeking the Lord? You are not expected to be in want of any good thing, whatever that is considered good. The Lord has promised to supply all our need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That is the unfailing promise of God. And he does exactly what he says he will do. As we call upon the name of the Lord today, we have been waiting upon him. The Lord will hear our cry and he will meet us at every point of need. Finally, all the reproach that the enemy has brought our way, they shall cease in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Uh, please, uh, just please take this. Uh, uh, if somebody is, is calling me, my phone is far from where I am. If you want to call me, you call me at the beginning of the meeting and not in the middle of the meeting when I'm preaching. I'm so sorry. I, I may not be able to go to pick the call. Call me when the meeting is in session or you call my mobile phone. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm sorry Hallelujah. for, sorry for Hallelujah. that uh, disruption. Brethren, the Lord is able to do exceeding abundantly and above all that we ask or think according to his power that works in us. The power of God works in the lives of the people of God. 
I'd like us to turn our Bibles to Joel chapter 2. We want to see a picture of what we are doing on the mountain at this time. For these uh, 21 days, you know, these days have been earmarked for us to call upon the name of the Lord, to seek the face of the Lord, that the Lord may hear us and answer us. Let's see in Joel chapter 2. We'll be reading from verse 15 to 19, and then we read from verse 21 to 27, and we begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Joel chapter 2, reading from verse 15. I read from verse 15. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. Why is, is this happening? Because the enemy has brought reproaches to the people of God, and they have realized that the reproaches ought to cease. They knew the right thing to do. The, the message has come to them to blow the trumpet and to gather the people together to seek the face of the Lord. That's exactly what we are doing now. There have been long-standing issues you know, and problems in our lives that must cease, that must go. And they cannot go except we cry out unto the Lord. That's why we are waiting upon the Lord. And the Lord himself will intervene in our situations and circumstances, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In verse 16, it says, Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of the chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the hidden should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? The same question that we saw in the Psalms. Where is their God? This should not continue. Enough is enough. It's high time the Lord intervened and roll away our reproaches. That he will do today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. When we have done that, and when we have done it correctly, let's look at what follows. In verse 18, Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. The Lord, he will be moved to jealousy, and he will pity us, his people, and he will intervene in our situations. Today, what we are doing is going to provoke God. As we cry unto him, as we call upon him, as we beseech him, for the reproaches in our lives, the Lord will move mountains in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verse 19. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the hidden. Our reproach must cease today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now let's go to verses 21 to 27. I read from verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. The Lord will do great things. He will do as he has said. The Lord is not a joker. His promises, they are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. He has said that he will intervene. Let us be faithful in our prayer. Let us, you know, do our own bit and allow God to do his own. He will not disappoint his people in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. For the Lord will do great things. Verse 22. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Verse 23, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. Incidentally, this is the first month of the year 2016. And the Lord has promised to give unto us the former rain and the latter rain. 
that will happen according to his word in Jesus mighty name as it comes to fall again every dryness in our lives eh, shall cease in Jesus mighty name Amen. 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 Verse 24, and the floor shall be full of wits, and the fast shall overflow with wine and oil. Verse 24, and I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Verse 26, and ye shall eat in plenty, and ye shall eat in plenty. Are we sleeping? Amen. 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 And ye shall eat in plenty. Amen. Amen. And be satisfied. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord your God that death won't be with you. Hallelujah. And my people shall never be ashamed. Amen. 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 Before, when you walk out there, you are stooping down. But beginning from today, as the Lord is going to end the reproach in your life, you shall walk out there, shoulder squared up and high, and you are looking straight okay. ahead of you, no Amen. longer looking down in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord has decided to remember you today. Amen. We are to put an end to that reproach in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then I challenge you to believe the word of God. God does as he says. It's not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. As he said, and shall he not do it? As he spoken, and shall he not make it good? The Lord will make good promises to his children on this mountain today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brethren, the Lord has not asked us to pray in vain. He knows that we are here seeking his face. He knows that we are here calling upon his name. And he has given unto us his unfailing promise. He will do as he has said in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So I'd like to read one more scripture in Proverbs 22, verse 10. Proverbs 22, verse 10. Open your Bibles with me. I read that scripture. 22 verse 10. Cast out this corner and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. Yea, strife Amen. and reproach shall Amen. cease. Amen. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. Amen. 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 We want to pray. We want to pray. Ooh. And battle with the Lord. Who oh, can battle with the Lord? Nobody. Who oh, can battle with the Lord? I say, I say no. Nobody. Who can battle? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I said, I Can battle with the Lord. Who can battle with the Lord? Nobody. Who can battle 
brothers and sisters you have heard the word of the Lord saying that your reproach must cease today Amen. I don't know who you are while the message was being introduced we were meant to understand that it is only the people of God the saints of God that can boldly say my reproach must cease and so are you there? You are not yet a saint of God. You are not a child of God. You are not born again. We cannot say my reproach must cease. First things first. You want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So as you pray, there will be no barrier. There will be no stumbling block. There will be no hindrance. So that your prayers will ascend unto the King of glory. And you will also Leave this meeting without any reproach in your life anymore in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So are you there? You want to be able to say with the people of God, my reproach must cease. And you want to give your life to Jesus? Take this prayer after me. Almighty God, I have heard your word today. I know that there is no way that my reproach will be taken away without my becoming a saint of God. And because I'm tired of my situation and condition, I have heard your word and I've seen my wretchedness and helplessness. I call upon your name today. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins and trespasses. Come into my life to be my Lord and personal Savior. Give me the power to go and sin no more. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your son, I pray for your daughter who has declared their stand with you, confessing and forsaking their sins. I ask you, God, that we strengthen them, Lord, to maintain their commitment to live for you for the rest of their lives. Grant unto them the power to live above sin from this day onwards. And Father, Lord, as you have promised us that our reproach must cease today and they are coming to partake in what is the children's bread, now that they have become your children, let it be their portion also. Let every reproach in their lives cease in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we begin to pray now, I ask, O oh God, that you will hear in heaven and the answer will come now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brethren, the Lord has given unto us the word of promise. The day that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. What is that good thing that is missing in your life? Take the word of God back unto him. Hey, that seek the Lord. You are seeking the Lord in these 21 days of fasting and prayer. They that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. They that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. You want to pray that the Lord will intervene in your life. Let every reproach cease today. Let every lack become a thing of the past. Let the Lord meet you at every point of need. Open your mouth and present yourself. Father, in the mighty name of prayer, God, here in the prayer God, 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 God,
From the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 17, we had this. Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. We want to pray that the Lord will spare his people. The Lord will spare his children. And give not his heritage to reproach. Let reproach cease in our lives today. Let the heathen not stand to mock us anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. You want to pray and say, God, spare your people today. That includes you, that includes me, everyone that is called by the name of the Lord on this mountain, everyone that is a child of God here, you can say, God, spare your people today, spare me today, deliver me today from the hand of the enemy, from lack, from poverty, from penury, from shame, from disgrace, in the mighty name of Jesus, Open your mouth and call upon the Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, spare your people today. Father, spare me today. Father, spare your people today. Spare me today. Give your people to reproach. Father, give me to reproach in the name of Jesus. That the healing should be asking, Where is our God? Father. For his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto this unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. We want to pray and say, God, do as you have said. Send me wine and oil and corn according to your word. Satisfy me with every good thing in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Open your mouth and call upon him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my brother, so as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, as you have said in the name of Jesus, the blessings of the living God that make everything added no sorrow in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in all areas of my life, Father, 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 Father,
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. Amen. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to Amen. place all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, Amen. and thou shalt not borrow. Amen. Amen. And thou shalt not borrow. Amen. Amen. The Lord is anointing your hands to be able to lend Amen. and not to borrow. Do as you have said. Do as you have said. Do as you have said. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I'm coming to your walls. Increase me, promote me, prosper me. I'm coming to your words. Father, do as you have said. Father, do as you have said. I shall not borrow. 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 I shall not in the name of name we have prayed the word of the lord is true you know, the word of God says that we should not owe any man. If that will happen, it means that you will have enough. Enough to give out and not to be looking for where to borrow from. The Lord has said that we should not borrow. It is true that we may not owe any man. That's the reason. We want to say pray this prayer that the Lord will supply us with all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, that we may be in a position to lend unto the, our neighbors, to lend yeah. unto the people in our community, to lend yeah. unto nations, not only people, even nations. God has promised to elevate us so high to be in such a position mm -hmm. as his children that we may not lack any good thing. Open your mouth and call upon the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you because you have the power to do whatever you have insisted in the good and the bad. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for building the name of Jesus. I will serve this so much place that I will be able to do it. I will be so much place. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. 
There is nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing, nothing, there is nothing, nothing, there is nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 there is nothing, my God cannot do. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, we read Psalm 34, and I will read it again. Psalm 34. I read from verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise you can imagine the strength of the lion. Mm -hmm. Even at that, the corpse of the lion, sometimes they lack food. Mm -hmm. Because lion is not God. He's the king of the forest. Sometimes, even in spite of his strength, the corpse still lacks food. But the picture we are seeing here is they that seek the Lord, you can rest assured of the fact that God is able, more than able, to meet you at every point of need. Is yeah. there any good thing? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is there any good thing that you are lacking today? You want to take this scripture to the Lord, point the Lord to this scripture. This is what you have said. That they that seek you shall not want any good thing. This mm -hmm. thing is missing in my life. Now that I have prayed, I'm fasting, I'm calling upon your name, Lord, bring it to pass that this good thing that is missing will come into my life. Whatever you are lacking, whatever you are lacking, that you should have as a child of God and is missing, you want to remind the Lord of his promises. Remind him of his promises and he will do as he has said in Jesus' name. I don't know what is like in your life. You want to open your mouth and call upon the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. You know what is lacking in your life. Open and they check. Whatever is lacking in your life. Mention it to the Lord. Mention it to the Lord. My Father, my Father, in the name of In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. As we look at what is a good thing, it's not only physical things. You want to also consider the spiritual aspect of things. Are there things you should have spiritually that are not there? It's an opportunity also to ask that the Lord will meet you at every point of need. Look at your spiritual life presently. Are there not things that are lacking? Do not cry unto the Lord that the Lord 
will supply everything. When we talk about reproach, the, that, that, you know, the, 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 the people out there, they know, you know, the form of a true child of God, a true minister of God, what you should be able to do. But they look at you, they look at me, we are not able to exercise the authority that we should be able to. It means that's a reproach also. So as I'm looking at the physical, I like us to address the spiritual. Everything that is missing, every good thing that you should have as a child of God, every benefit as a child of God, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let the Lord bless you. And the poor upon you. Blessings of heaven. Spiritual blessings also. In the name of Jesus, the gifts of the Spirit. We need to be able to exercise our ministry as children of God. In the name of Jesus. You cannot fulfill your ministry if the things are lacking. If they are lacking, you can't fulfill your ministry. Brother, sister, call upon the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, do not leave me out. In the name of Jesus, I pray for this. By your power, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, there are fruits that we ought to bear as children of God. The fruit of the Spirit. As you look at your life today and uh, they are missing, it should be a concern unto you. It should drive you to go on your knees and call upon the name of the Lord. So i like you to go to the Lord in prayer and uh, you want to ask that the Lord will supply all of them. I read them out for you in Galatians chapter 5. I read from verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is, please, as I read, just check if there is anyone missing in your life. The Lord is able to restore things today. He's willing Amen. to do that. And he will do it in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The fruit of the Spirit is love, mm -hmm. joy, yes. peace, mm -hmm. long-suffering, mm -hmm. gentleness, mm -hmm. goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. Amen. Amen. Brother, sister, let's call upon the name of the Lord. We want to see this fruit manifesting in our lives. Amen. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come forth. I come forth. Father, Lord, beautify my life in the name of Jesus. Let my life be beautiful. Let my life be beautiful today. Father, I pray. Father, I pray. Father, I pray. Father, I pray. Thank you, blessed Father. Amen. I believe that the Lord has heard and answered us, most especially touching on the spiritual, you know. Uh, aspect of things, the fruit that we should bear as children of God. Maybe you had it before, 
but as a result of carelessness, you lost it. Today, as you have prayed, I believe that the restoration has happened again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. At the beginning, we trusted God to answer our cry, uh, to hear our cry. And if he hears, we consider it done. And we know that he has heard and has answered in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we thank you for the opportunity that we have enjoyed to gather together unto you this hour. Thank you. Lord, we have cried unto you in fasting and in prayer. Yes, As it was in the days of Joel, the people of God, they cried unto the Lord when they saw the reproach in the house of Israel. And they presented their case before you. They reminded you of your promises you had in heaven. You answered them. Lord, we have done the same this hour. We have called upon your name. We have cried unto you for restoration of the things that give the people around us the license to reproach us, to mock us. Lord, I pray that that restoration shall be wholesome, physical, material, and otherwise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We have prayed that the wholesome fruit of the Holy Spirit will not be absent in our lives anymore. Amen. Amen. Lord, may we manifest love, joy, Amen. peace, long suffering, gentleness, Amen. goodness, faith, meekness, and self control as your children wherever we find ourselves in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I pray that you will beautify our lives with this fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, touching on the material things, the things that we need for our soul and our bodies to function together, Lord, I pray that we shall not lack any good thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Because we have you as our Father, we shall not beg for bread in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You have told us very clearly in your word that we shall eat in plenty. We shall Amen. have enough and to spare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We shall have so much that we'll be able to lend unto others in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord tells us not to owe any man. That is to say that we should not borrow. Yes. Oh Lord, let it be as you have said in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. that asked us before this time, where is thy God? Jesus. As they see us, may they see God in us. And Amen. let it be evidenced by the things you are bringing about in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In the number of those that we are going to lend unto in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you because we know you have heard and answered us. Thank In you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Over to you, Apostle Chris. Amen. God bless you, man of God. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah.